don't forget to check out my Patreon where we have exclusive content. We have tons and tons of extra videos that have been blocked. We have Red Velvet Love Love Project, The Red Mare Tour, Twice Sees the Light, Twice Land, and Twice Lights Tour, Twice Elegant Private Life, Find a Stray Kids Season 1 and 2. We also have In Hypen and High All Episodes, Got 7, Hard Carry 2.5, 17 One Fine Day in Japan, 17 Club, He is Psychometric All Episodes Uncut, Many Knowing Bros episodes that include appearances by Twice, Got 7, 17, Red Velvet. We have some idol rooms that have been blocked. AT's Treasure Film, Blackpink House, the Blackpink's documentary, Light Up the Sky, and so much more. So you can check that out on Patreon. Thank you. Hey guys, Angie here. Today we have K-pop dangerous choreographies that make fans scream. Now this can be dangerous as in dang that's sexy you know that type of dangerous like something taming you know just like the hips and everything or it can be actual dangerous i kind of <laughs> i kind of want them to be actual dangerous so that i can be more like reactive towards it but i also don't want them in danger so i kind of hope it's not actual dangerous but we'll see we'll see how this goes like i kind of want to see but i don't want them getting hurt but like that morbid dark side of me kind of wants it to be the actual dangerous but then the caring fan of side of me doesn't want them to get hurt so you know it's kind of a mixture but let's just see what we got going on here i think first is nct dream is this the yeah it's chewing gum i think let's see okay okay so nct dreams chewing gum yeah that is dangerous so these might it's truly never been done before dang i really didn't want it to be like a narrating type thing well whatever i i didn't watch this yet so i was like okay well it's this type of video cool it reminds me of like mojo and stuff the use of hoverboards within nct dream song chewing gum was fresh and exciting but they don't always However, use hoverboards if you've ever tried to utilize a hoverboard you know that yeah i've seen taeyong from bts bang his head if the boys were to fall they could end up injuring their arms or legs didn't that happen if they lose control of the hoverboards, they could run into each other and create a mess on stage. But I hope they still, never actually got hurt doing it, but I think they'd have. Didn't Jamie get hurt? Zero mistakes. They must have practiced long hours for such hard and precise dance moves. And you Number also two, sometimes can't control it. Oh, this is, yeah, With this Wolf, is hard. SM decided to recruit Tony Testa as Exo's choreographer. Oh, Testa he sounds familiar. Known for the renowned driving choreography yes. That requires huge amounts of energy. I've heard of him. And Wolf is no different. In the song, EXO- The song is <laughs> cringy. It's a cringy song. I love EXO with all my heart. Oh, I was going to show you my albums, but you can't see because the video's in the way. But I love them so much. One of my favorite groups ever. But Wolf is kind of cringy. But the choreo is insane. So, makes up for the cringy song. Literally flies over the stage, surprising the audience with sudden direction changes and barely stopping for a moment. If one of them loses the balance, all the members will fall down and get injured. I don't know. Their tree formation also takes incredible force and powerful is... muscles. Otherwise, they will have problems with joints and ligaments. There are also lots of level changes in the choreography that is easy for an ordinary dancer to get exhausted. For all these factors, this is no dance for the beginner. This is an interesting decision. I don't know, because, like, I agree, but I, I feel like I've seen more. I feel like this one shouldn't be on this list, maybe? <laughs> I've even seen EXO do more dangerous choreo than this one, but I'm not a dancer. Maybe this person is, and they. But like, even the explanation wasn't like I've seen people fly around on stage and stuff. We'll see. We'll see. Number three. That there we go. I was about to mention overdose because I feel like that one way more dangerous. Okay. When EXO came because I said even EXO had harder songs. They made fans confused when the twelve-member tower photo was posted online by Tony Testa. Then, after Overdose MV was officially released, the choreography like that once again aroused public opinion thing. because of its incredible complexity. After watching Overdose MV, is one of my favorite EXO title tracks. Fans were concerned about the safety of EXO members during that comeback. Mm -hmm. The reason was, in order to build that pyramid, two members needed to stay firmly at the bottom. I hope they didn't Whilst use it, they didn't perform it too much, because the EXO always has so many injuries. Other members would fall on stage, get injured, and also heavily harm the members under them. If not well trained, kind of like might Treasure not... took away the choreo where I forgot who was standing on who. I think maybe Jungwoo was standing on someone, maybe. But uh, they're like standing on top of each other and stuff, and the fans said no. 
let's not do that. So then they don't perform that part live. They change it up a little bit. Been able to perform overdose choreography so smoothly and perfectly. Number four, two p.m. Okay, I don't know two p.m. very well. So the choreography of this song is considered quite powerful and complicated. In fact. Junho had injured himself while practicing Dang. 10 out of 10 because he was unable to land properly during the final rotation of his flip. Instead of landing on his feet, he landed on his head and <gasps> the rest of the 2 p.m. members had to rush him to the hospital. Is he okay? <sighs> oh my god, I don't even know this. That I've seen idols. Oh my god, stop doing things you can't do. Not their fault. Um, maybe they asked him and he didn't want to say no because you know it's kind of hard to say no, but stop stop having idols do things they're not capable of doing just to look cool there's like people in groups who do gymnastics and stuff so it's fine like um mark from mark Talon from got seven he's able to do the flips because he trained for that you know he like learned gymnastics and stuff like that or martial arts whatever i don't know has he done martial arts does he have a background maybe it was just a bad flip um i've seen well, I'm mentioning treasure again but i've seen uh mashiho from treasure he couldn't do a flip like he um he did this flip during treasure box and he kept landing it he was doing good but one practice he did it wrong so maybe it was one of those things where he just didn't land right and once you don't land right you start failing a lot because it's like one little slip up can mess up your mentality and get you off balance oh that's so scary though i don't want to watch it again that's scary i don't like it hospital Fans were so... shocked at the danger of the dance move, and it showed how much effort 2PM went through to put on a good performance. And it's like, not even a hard thing, that flip, for like people who do martial arts and stuff. Once you kind of get it, I feel like you can keep doing it. But I really think maybe he just messed up that one time, and dang. It's just so crazy how you can get it right so many times, and then one time just changes Number five, it. Number five, TVXQ's Catch Me. Oh, shoot. Perhaps until now... Many people still have not forgotten TVXQ's impressive choreography in Catch Me, the song released in 2012. This was also voted as unique choreography, but with the highest wow, that's that cool. ever performed. In one part, Chang Min lifted his body from the ground with the help of dancers and other members, making fans concerned about everyone's safety. When TVXQ performed this song, Chang Min even fell twice, and the group of dancers had to move the formation to cover up the accident. It means that during practice, wow, Chang Min fell wow, that's so cool. That. Number six, shiny everybody. everybody. Another Testa's choreography I love that, one. that is so difficult to take on is okay. Everybody. So that's why I know that guy's name. He choreographed a lot of dances that I've seen. Okay, shiny my babies. Even Onu injured Shiny's himself amazing. because of it. Oh it is no. absolutely incredible to see how much movement me. is packed into such a short period of time, and how much of that movement is microscopic in detail. Testa focuses on coordinated body movements that line up with group synchronization and complex- Part of me likes that they do go out of their limit, but sometimes it's just, I feel like you can't, like, I want them to strive for more, but I, I wish maybe there's limits. Like, often groups have hard choreos with dangerous moves, but then when they're touring, they change it up or they take that one part out because, you know, you're touring. You can't risk an injury or anything during the performance. So, like, either they'll cut the choreo all together or they'll change up the choreo to make it a little bit easier for touring. Um, I kind of wish maybe... I think this caused a lot of that. Like, these um, older groups from the second generation, I think, second generation, had so many choreos. Most of these groups are from that generation. Um, is EXO considered third? I think, yeah, EXO is third because 2012 they debuted. So I think they, 2012, I think, yeah, they debuted 2012, right? Oh, I'm so sorry. EXO's debut date always confuses me because they have some pre debut stuff too. Um, but a lot of these besides EXO is old groups and they keep getting injury and hurting themselves. So I think now third and fourth generation groups stopped, um, doing like they would still have crazy choreos and stuff that are dangerous but they would only perform it for like a music show and then they would stop for the tours i think maybe that's a reason why they started doing that focuses on coordinated body movements that line up with groups but i feel like you can't force someone to choreography their bodies sometimes can't do all that everybody fans still yeah. believe that Taimin got thrown up in the air though he had always had a dramatic landing fans were always worried that he could get injured if he Taimin ever gets injured so much way. 
She Number definitely seven. has probably gotten injured. NCT Dang, a lot of NCT Dream. They did win awards for this, so. From the top, the members of NCT Dream performed a difficult choreography to move the formation. One person had to hold the next person's legs, so the members That's together so cool. formed a big circle and Is that dangerous? started to shrink. This dance performance received a very high appreciation from professionals. It's a cool move, but is that dangerous? I guess you could hit your head. Professionals as well as the audiences. However, yeah, that's so it still cool. faced mixed opinions because in order to perform that well, NCT Dream had to practice extremely hard. In fact, during this era, Jamin had to drop halfway because of the disc herniation he suffered when practicing my first and last. That's the thing. That's the dance he did. Okay, I felt like he and I knew he injured himself. But I couldn't remember which song it was. But yeah, he wasn't in that video. Or was he in the video? But yeah, he wasn't in that era, I think. Like they said, like halfway through. Number so it's from that. Okay. Was it confirmed that it was because of that dance? Let me know. Uh, but he hurt his shoulder, right? Is it because of that movement where you pulled? Maybe he dislocated it. Uh, after school. After school's first love. Wow. Is this is the group. Okay. As an exercise. It requires loads of full body I've seen quite a handful in a of fluid and sexy manner. Yet, as one of the most legendary I've seen a lot of groups, of groups now doing this. After school perfectly killed it in first love. These girls need serious upper body We already know this is why and this deserves to be here. That only come with lots of practice. Mm -hmm. They have to perform many repeated moves, which becomes challenging as muscles fatigue from repetition. Yes. The members themselves have stated that they got injured and bruised from the choreography. Oh yeah, pole dancers get bruised so much. Like, um, is that the proper term? Would you say pole dancers? I don't know if that's insulting, but it's true because you're dancing on a pole. But yeah, um, pole dancing, your thighs get so bruised. I remember Sola from Mamamoo showed her legs and they were wow. And Lizzie even couldn't be part of the live stages in the performance part of the music video because she had injured herself during rehearsal. Wow. Number six, Blackpink's Boombaya. The choreography of Blackpink also is it the has many part? complicated moves. I don't know. And a typical what example would be? is Boombaya. The most impressive move was when Jenny jumped up and let Jisoo, Rose, oh, and Lisa hold her. I this guess. movement is not only complicated but dangerous. If yeah, the members I, drop Jenny, right. she can fall onto the stage and injure her arms and legs. That's true. Thereby okay. Requiring I don't remember that part. Dangerous. I always forget that part. Man. However, most of the time, Blackpink has successfully performed this dance. One time, Jenny accidentally kicked Jisoo in the head while jumping, and she was extremely worried when she saw Jisoo holding her head. Luckily, Jisoo um. wasn't seriously injured, and she continued to finish the Okay, performance. yeah, that is Number dangerous. 10. BTS this is Diana. this one was crazy. I think I'm Junko hit his chin and stuff. This is one of those performance was performances where I said like they change it during the tour now because they got injured. Though the new version of this choreography didn't have much to talk about since BTS directly edited a few dance segments to avoid possible incidents, the original version of it proved to be super dangerous. Very. Specifically, the members had to turn so... over and fall straight to the floor. This choreography requires great concentration. I remember take up not want the hand and leg combination to be difficult to match, which can lead to unnecessary accidents while performing. In fact, Chunko also had problems with this choreography when this rehearsing part, for the music they jumped down. stage. Fans witnessed his entire shoulder hitting the floor while performing the upside down movement, and he was clearly in pain. BTS directly changed the choreography to prevent unfortunate incidents to occur. Number 11, Itsy's Dala Dala. Dala. Hard choreography is really a tradition of JYP girl groups. Uh -huh. Itzy is no exception. Their debut song, Dala Dala, has been controversial for a period of time because really? the choreography itself has many dangerous details, such as turning the body 90 degrees or turning the head 180 degrees. The movements that can cause fatigue, dizziness, and other serious injuries for the members if they're not done correctly. Huh. Moreover, the girls even had to dance in high heel boots which is oh, yeah. extremely That's hard. exhausting for the feet. If one accidentally steps on another, both of them will be injured. And I always out. hate when they give like any idol, male or female, like heeled shoes. Cause I noticed a lot of guys wear like heeled boots, um, especially if a member is like smaller and it looks a little odd, they'll like give them heeled boots or like um, high platform shoes. I don't think platform would be a problem, but the heeled ones, trash. Um, and then girls often are wearing like heeled boots, very high heeled boots too. And it just, like, why? Just give them regular shoes. There's amazing, 
cute shoes that don't have heels that look great on stage and people really don't care about shoes that much guys we're not looking at their feet that much i guess maybe if you're dancing maybe some people will look at their feet a lot but i don't think anyone's gonna be like oh those shoes are ugly like but then again i've seen a lot of fans comment on how ugly clothes are whatever but you know what i mean like come on especially when you would realize stylists are mainly females why are you giving these girls heel shoes knowing how painful it is number 12 brave girls i don't know about the itsy one i guess um it's, i don't know because i'm not a dancer i guess it could be because they do have a lot of like like the person said a lot of head movements that are like 90 degrees and stuff and i guess the person explained like it can make them dizzy and stuff so um Roland of Brave Girls, it's considered to have dangerous dance moves That's because of the chairs. chairs they use. Yeah. In the performances, the I've girls get up go wrong on the with chair chairs. and perform their choreography while balancing themselves on it. Everyone who has seen their performances all know that the girls must have been super courageous to wear high heels and dance. And, oh shoot, once again heels. I didn't even notice those. I never I can never watch a live performance with performance with things like this because I always get very anxious. <laughs> on such shaky chairs. Just like the name of their group. Why wouldn't if they, they... Or lose balance, they could heavily injure themselves Cute. falling like, off. Why can't they glue it down or like, you know, not glue it because, you know, it ruin the stage, but can't you do something to keep it down? Off those chairs. One of the members, you know, had actually fallen <gasps> during a Oh my god. Oh my god, my heart just dropped. Oh my god, I can't. <laughs> This is exact. My heart just literally fell out of my chest. Themselves falling off. I don't want to see it. He pushed through with the performance because, as mentioned, all the girls were super courageous and they would never let anything ruin their performances. Oh my Number god. 13. Oh, here's here's the here's treasure. Okay, I was ho I didn't know if treasure would be on here because they're newer group, newer group. But theirs was terrifying too. It's things like Treasures this I can't. In and in. Right from the time mm. of their debut, YG one of my favorite songs of the year. Treasure is a group that mainly focuses on choreography. Yeah, they're very choreographed. It's during great. During the latest comeback with MMM, Treasure why are they saying MMM? It's mm. oh. perform unacceptably dangerous choreography. Specifically, the members had to jump on each other's backs. That this was so crazy. Man. Jay -Hook to tremble in pain. Jay -Hook oh, Jay -Hook, was okay. on his back three times. Right after that, a wave and of outrage kept getting hurt. Like, you could see he was hurt. Like, they're too young to be doing this. Like, I I think they put harder choreo during debuts because the people are young. But also, you can't do that because the people are young. Like, EXO's, like, debut choreos and stuff. They're too young to be doing all that. Like, you're not... Even if you're training for years, I feel like it can lead to lifelong injuries and stuff like a lot of idols had to leave their groups during those years because they're they face injuries and stuff like a lot of people in exo <laughs> many thought that yg was way too concerned about the quality of the mv and the yeah the boys it singing. looked cool after but the after the music video you don't have to keep performing that part you know what i mean you just do it for the music video Percy, at midnight on november 8th yg quickly made an official apology for the incident from the next stage, the strong choreography that fans are worried about will be modified. Thank you. We will continue to focus on the health and safety of our members. Since you have done that from the beginning, but whatever. And we will soon come back with better performances. Do you know any other dangerous choreographies? I'm trying don't to think of one. I, I feel like I know. Oh, below. shoot, that's cool. And also, I think don't maybe to like, share, there's a 17 one, but I can't remember. We'll be back with other wow. interesting videos. That's cool. Thank you for watching. Okay trying to think of one i don't know though i feel like there was something i've seen before where i thought it was really weird and crazy yeah they look easy but you know oh but okay but the eve isn't dangerous um and yeah like that's just but exo have some cool choreo that just you don't think about NCT Dream are crazy, man. You don't really notice until. But I think they have such cool choreography, though. SM has very good choreography. Like, I often talk about their vocals, but dang, their choreo is actually really good. Um, I wanted to mention... Um, is it Natural? By Sogi and Irene. I think it's called that. But it wasn't... It wasn't, like, dangerous. But it was just a really cool choreography. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think Monster X or 17 have one that I can't just think of right now. 
but there's a lot of hard choreographies. Let me know what your favorite choreography is. I think my favorite all-time choreography is mm, by Treasure. Um, it's just insane. And I love, um, dang, it was on here. What was that one? Oh, Love Shot. I mean, not Love Shot. Um, lo lo lot of <laughs> Dang it, why did I always forget their overdose? <laughs> I always forget the name of that song, man. Um, I love that choreo. That's why I, I couldn't think of the name even when I was watching this too. Um, but that choreography always was so cool. The way they do like the dun -dun -dun thing and the way they stay on top of each other. But it's so dangerous. So I sometimes don't want to support it. But you know what I mean? It's They worked hard for it. Um, and God's Menu is cool by um, Stray Kids. Anyways, let me know your favorites in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!